This video is to be used for educational purposes only and is not intended to replace individual research or licensed investment advice. Unique experiences and past performances do not guarantee future results. Trading stocks, options, and spot currencies involves substantial risk. There is always the potential for loss. Your trading results may vary. No representations are being made that any software or training will guarantee profits or not result in losses from trading. Welcome everybody to the market wrap for February 21st, 2007. In the news today, U.S. consumer prices rose more than forecast in January, giving credence to Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke's message that inflation risks remain the central bank's primary concern. Consumer price index increased 0.2% as Americans paid more for food, medical care, and air travel. Crude oil rose above $60 a barrel in New York on speculation that the Energy Department to report tomorrow will show the U.S. fuel supplies fell and unexpected refinery shutdowns will curb stockpiles in the weeks ahead. Inventory of distillate fuel, a category that includes heating oil and diesel, fell 2.9 million barrels in the week ending February 16th. As for earnings news, Taser International reported fourth quarter earnings per share of four cents in line with consensus, as it began a recovery from past legal problems. Revenues rose 53.2% year over year to 19.3 million versus consensus of 19.2 million. The stun gun maker said it saw a 53% jump in earnings in the latest period and added that it plans to start shipping a personal stun gun in the second quarter. Jack in the Box gave investors a nice surprise Wednesday when the company reported first quarter earnings of 99 cents per share excluding non-recurring items, 18 cents better than the consensus of 81 cents. Revenues rose 5.4% year over year to 856.7 million versus consensus of 862 million. Restaurant operating margin improved to 18.4% of sales in the first quarter versus 16.4% in the previous year thanks to higher sales and lower food costs. For the upcoming economic releases on Thursday, we'll have initial jobless claims and crude inventories. Upcoming earnings release is BASF, BEA System, Chesapeake Energy, Friedman Billings Ramsey, H&R Bach, JCPenney, Office, Mad, Office Max, Red Robin Gourmet Burgers, and Toll Brothers. On Stocks to Watch, Apple shares rose more than most in six weeks after Prudential Equity Group increased its second quarter profit estimates on expectations rising sales of Macintosh personal computers and higher gross margins. JetBlue Airways said on Wednesday that the huge number of flight cancellations it suffered last week would result in a wider than expected loss for the first quarter and would cut full year profit. The airline, which canceled some 1,200 flights after a nice storm disrupted its New York operations on February 14th, has already said the cancellations would end up costing it $30 million or more. This is the market wrap for February 21st. 2007.